Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said to a man while he was giving him advice. He said, take advantage of five before five. Take advantage of five things while you have them and before you lose them. Your youthfulness, your activeness, the energy that you have, the moments that you have in this life is very short. And that's why Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in hadith Abdullah ibn Mas'ud, the feet or the servant of Allah on the day of Yawm al-Qiyamah will not move. He cannot go forward unless he's asked five and one of them, what have you done with your young age? How did you utilize it? When I look back in my own life, my personal life, I, can, I always say to myself, I wish if I utilized my time better. Now imagine when you're old enough that you can stand up for Qiyam al -Layl. When you're too old to fast Mondays and Thursdays, take advantage of your young age before you become old. And then he says, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and take advantage of your health before you become ill and sick. How many of you went to the hospitals and saw ill people? See, human beings are arrogant, very arrogant. You know, when you're healthy, you think you're unstoppable. You think, you know, you have so many opportunities. You think you have so many chances. Do Imrah, I'll do it later. Do Hajj, I'm still young. Learn this deen, I still have chance. You know, come and pray Qiyam al-Layl, inshallah. I have to work tomorrow, but I'll do it inshallah during the weekend. And then you get sick. Abdullah ibn Mas'ud radiyallahu anhu, he weaved while he was sick. And the people said, Ibn Mas'ud, are you crying because Allah is testing you with illness? He said, no. Not crying because I'm sick. Because I have heard the messenger of Allah saying, indeed illness is nothing but expiation for the Muslim. When you're sick, Allah washed you away from your sins. He said, but I'm sad. Because I got sick when I was as, not as active as it should be in ibadah. The third nasiha that he gave to that man, take advantage of your wealth to become before you become poor. Don't think, don't you ever assume and think you pass the mark and you will never go broke. Don't ever assume that you made enough money and you can sustain yourself. Don't you ever miscalculate and say, Alhamdulillah, this is enough for me until I die because Allah, the one who gave it to you, can take it away from you. So the Messenger of Allah is saying to us, use your money before you become poor. He did not mean go and waste your money. He means utilize it. See, some of us, we have to struggle to earn and buy Jannah with A'mal. Some of us, because we don't have much money, we have to read extra Quran. We have to perform extra Salah. We have to do extra fasting because we're all racing to paradise. And some of us, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala maybe did not give them that ability, but He gave them other resources to purchase their Jannah. Yet, some of us don't understand the formula of Allah. And they speak the language of Qarun. I earn this money because I'm clever. 
I earned this money because of my connections. And they think Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not facilitate for them, but they were too intelligent for others, for, therefore they made money. Exact the same statement of Qarun, but in different formula. He said, oh young lad, take advantage of your free time before you become busy. All of us, once again, we have lots of free time and we waste it in unproductive activities, activities that do not bear any fruit in this world and the next. And so our Prophet Muhammad وسلم, said, take advantage of your free time before you become busy. Every one of us has free time throughout the day. Let us once again take advantage of that free time. Do things that is useful and beneficial for us in this world and the next. And don't just waste it away idling, doing things that will not benefit us whatsoever in this world or the next. And then the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and he said, you realize your life before your death. If you go to the wealthiest man ever lived and you ask them, if Allah gives you another opportunity, what would have you done with it? Allah, that person would say, I would never run after dunya. I would have spent my time worshipping Allah and being righteous. I have seen the most profound picture in my life. And this was the picture of King Abdullah. May Allah have mercy on all the Muslims. On his grave was this Sudani brother raising his hand, making dua for King Abdullah. Where is his wealth? Where are the bodyguards and security? What happened to the status that he had? What happened to all of that? Nothing matters. And Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is saying to you and I, take advantage of your life before you die. And Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he sees the Sahaba gather in one place and he run towards them and he came to them sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and they were surrounding a grave. And the Messenger of Allah penetrated the crowd and he saw the grave and his legs could not carry him sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and he went down on his knees and he looked down and his beard was touching his chest and the tears were coming and he said to the Sahaba, it was such a place work for it because no matter how wealthy you are no matter how fresh you look today no matter how healthy you look no matter how good you are when you die you will be buried there and no wealth no status no friends no family no one will stay with you and it would be you, your amal, and Allah. Your beautiful wife is not there. Your beautiful children, your relatives, none of them would be with you. It would be only your deeds. No one else. Woe to us if the one that is going to stay there is the lies that you lie, the riba that you consume. You know, when people want to punish people, when they want to punish people, when the government, states, wants to punish people, prisoners, they put them in a cell and no one is allowed to be in touch with them. And people, they go insane. 
even though they can breathe, they can drink, they can eat, they can sleep. But imagine if what you have there is nothing but your evil actions. Nas'alullah. Nas'alullah al Imagine the zina that you committed, the lies that you lied, the money that you cheated, the nifaq, that the faces that you had, multiple faces. Imagine the abuse that you performed, the huquq that you took from innocent people, the zulm that you committed. Imagine is all that is in your account. And I guarantee you, I guarantee you, they will be there unless you repent to Allah. You don't have tomorrow. You have today. You have now. So utilize your life before your death. I'll conclude exactly how I started. Don't be a person who takes advantage of this dunya only, but take advantage of Akhirah.